Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about Final Cut Pro and Express. Now I'm going to be working in Final Cut Pro, but Final Cut Express has the exact same controls we're going to be talking about, okay? Um, we're going to talk about color correction, and I know you think to yourself, thinking to yourself, ah oh god, another color correction video, there's color corrector three-way videos all over the internet. But no, 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 we're not going to talk about the color corrector three-way. We're going to talk about the little used regular color corrector. What? Yep, you heard me right. The regular color corrector. Since when have you heard a Final Cut Pro user ever using the color corrector over the color corrector three-way? You just don't hear much about it. But let me tell you what. It is a widely used tool and one of the best kept secrets in the industry. I'm not kidding, guys. Um... If you notice, I'll apply a color here, a clip of myself here. Um, if I apply the color corrector three-way to this clip, you'll notice, as usual, it comes up over here in the filters tab, color corrector three-way. Now we have our normal tabs, our blacks, mids, whites. We have our limit effect, which we can use to key out certain colors. If we want to change the color of a shirt or change the color of an object or desaturate an object or key out a green screen, Lottie, lottie, lottie. You know, this, all these good advanced effects are inside the color corrector three way, and it makes it a wonderful tool. But it's something lacking. And if, do you know what that is? Can you tell by looking at this? Are you familiar enough with Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express to know what's lacking from the color corrector three way that, that the color corrector does have? It's a hue, a hue wheel. There's no hue wheel on the color corrector three way. So, what I want to do is go back to my filters here. Let's close this down and turn off color corrector three way. Or let's just delete it all together so you guys won't get confused. Now let me add the color cor regular, regular color corrector. Now as you can see we have a balance wheel and a hue control. Um, there's also a limit effect just like on the color corrector three way. And the reason I was talking about it in the last video like the color corrector three-way had it and the regular color corrector didn't is because I'm not sure if Final Cut Express has the limit effect option in the regular color corrector wheels if with the regular see the Final Cut Express doesn't have a color corrector three-way just a color corrector and I'm not sure if the Final Cut Express color corrector has the limit effect if it does wonderful if it don't don't worry we're not using it for this tutorial so you'll notice there's no mids, blacks, and whites all separate. But you can't adjust them down here. Whites, mids, and blacks, as you can see, they're still here. You just have you just don't have that fine control to adjust the hue color of the whites. Like uh, on the color corrector three way, I can shoot my whites to blue and my mids to red, but I can't do that here. There's just a balance wheel and a hue wheel. So enough of me gabbing. Let's actually show you why why this is so great. And you think to yourself, well, why in the world do I want to use a hue wheel? Look what it does to my picture. It just changes the hue all around. Okay? Well, I'm going to show you. So here we go. Just a regular color corrector. Um, nothing's applied. No, no adjustments are, are applied. Let's show you what this great hue wheel is all about while I've been gabbing. So first, I went up to Window arrange color correction okay now we have our color corrector we have our color corrector applied to our clip and we have our scopes over here I'm gonna pull up my vector scope which is this here okay now if you notice right here is a flesh tone line this is where you want your your white here represent which is representative of your color you want it to be as close to this flesh tone line as you can get it okay and right now it looks okay but if you notice, the saturation is a little low. You want to keep your saturation about this second circle. Okay, you don't want to go over. It'll be oversaturated, and you don't want to go under. You want to keep it about that second circle. And as you can see, it's a little off there. So I'm going to bring up my saturation to get it out towards the cir second circle a little bit more. Okay, so now let's go ahead and auto-adjust my, my balance here by clicking the little eyedropper and clicking on something that's supposed to be white in the scene okay now when I do that you can see it kinda throws off my flesh tone okay and my saturation also so probably the first thing you would wanna do is, is you, if, you're, if you're gonna use the eyedropper is to use it 
A lot of people like to start with their whites, mids, and blacks first, but if you're going to use the eyedropper, you can go ahead and just use it. So now we need to get our flesh tone, as you can see, back over on the flesh tone line. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use the hue wheel. If you notice, when I take this hue wheel and start rotating it to the left, watch that flesh tone line come right back over there. Keep it, it'll nudge right back over there to where it's supposed to be. Okay, now, the wonderful, huh? Now, you can't do that with the regular color corrector three-way that easy. With a hue, there's no hue wheel. So now let's go to our waveform. Let's adjust our blacks and whites just a little bit. Let's up our whites a little low. Up our mids, bring out the contrast, and make the, give the picture a little more contrast. That's looking pretty good. Our blacks need nudge down a tad. Let's go back to our vector scope. Look at our saturation is a little hot at right there, so let's down our saturation. Okay, and now we have a corrected image, and as you can see before bland green yellow tint and we turn the regular color corrector on and it's kind of like you took away a gram of dust a, a, a layer of dust now you can war use the color corrector three-way in conjunction with the color corrector if if you have a certain technique that you employ you can use them separately you can it's it's up to you but that is the powerful use of the hue wheel in the color corrector I hope you guys have learned something, and we'll see you next time.